Hello, welcome back to Let's Play GTA 3. This episode, we'll be doing some more storyline missions. First up, we're just going to go back to Tony. I believe he has uh, one or two missions left that... Oh, fuck you, you stupid Diablo bastard. Oh, that, that showed him. But anyway, uh, yeah, Tony's. As I said, one or two missions left. Can't really remember how many. Okay, well... <laughs> I'm definitely going to have to start driving better than this. How about I take a few laps around the block and uh, sort my head out while I get rid of this wanted level. And we'll make our way back. There we go. Alright, I think I'm good now. I'm, uh, I'm in expert driving mode. I've got my head set. I'm fucked. Alright, fuck that. It must be the car's problem. Oh, it's you! Tony ain't here! But he left one of his sugary love letters for you. We're at war. The Triads have a fish factory as a front. Most of their business goes down at the fish market in Chinatown. The laundry still owes us protection. They reckon the Triads are protecting them now, so I say we exact a fitting punishment. Take those boys over and whack the Triad warlords. Hell, if you get a chance, pop some of their soldiers, too. Alright, it's a good old-fashioned gang war. And now the streets of Liberty City are just strewn with uh, triads and uh, mafia men. So, we'll wait for these bozos to get in the car. Come on. Get in. So, this is kind of like, I suppose, the... Uh, the missions in GTA San Andreas. Well, fuck. Thanks for that traffic. You really fucked me over. Uh, no, don't worry, boys. Get back in. Uh, <laughs> his hair's clipping through the through the glass there. That's good stuff. Yeah, it's kind of like uh, San Andreas. Although the uh, gang members in our car here can't shoot out the windows, so they're not going to be able to do anything until we've uh, gotten out on foot. But there's these three markers on the radar and that is where the uh, the captains of the triads I suppose, the uh, higher ups, that's where they're hanging out. So, fucking trees. The whole world's against me at the moment. So I'm just gonna try and snipe this dude with an AK-47 because we don't actually have anything better than this. Oh, we just heard something over the police scanner. That's uh, that's weird. I suppose that's scripted. Oh, sorry, ma <laughs> sorry, mate. Um, so this guy might be a bit of trouble to get to. or will try and oozy him. Oh, what the fuck? Where's he going? Die. There we go. It's all good. Come on, dudes, don't trouble you. Huh? There's mafia dudes shooting at each other. Man, this this just got weird. <laughs> All right, and the last guy is just up here, and we'll run him over like nothing. All righty, one mission left. Uh, for Tony, because I will be doing another one this episode, but yeah, yeah, whatever, doesn't matter. Tony it is. Let's see what else we can do to these triads to uh, make their day even worse. Okay, I've had enough of 
this shit. We're gonna finish the triads in Liberty once and for all. Eight balls rigged a dust cart with a bomb. It's on a timer. So if you mess up, there'll be no evidence. Go and pick up the dust cart. Careful. Eight ball says it's real sensitive. The slightest bump could set that thing off. Their fish factory will open its gates for a dust cart. So you can drive right in. Park up between the gas canisters and get the hell out of there. I want it to rain mackerel. We're talking real biblical here. Nothing low budget. It's really strange how, uh, how neutered uh, GTA 3 is in terms of, um, uh, you know, like, mature content, I suppose, that, <laughs> uh, that in inverted commas. Like, you know, there's no explicit sex references or uh, any uh, gratuitous profanity. It's all pretty much within the realms of... Uh, normal uh, video games, or at least what they were like at the time. Because, of course, games these days all include uh, copious amounts of uh, expletives and uh, whatnot. But that's just a change in paradigm. Could probably thank San Andreas for setting that off. The Trash Master is not a very good vehicle in GTA 3. It's okay for ramming other vehicles off the road because it has quite a good, uh, good stocky build and it can really give other vehicles a rumble. Unfortunately though, it doesn't have very good endurance. It's not quite as bulletproof as you'd like and it can flip over quite uh, easily when just going up the slightest of inclines and going off-road is usually a death sentence due to its uh, due to its height because it's not so much that it handles badly because it handles okay it's a little slow at turning and it's got a very slow acceleration and top speed though it can get some pretty decent momentum going down a slope the trash master is also quite heavy and it sticks to surfaces quite well, never really uh, launching itself. That being said, it is a uh, hell getting up hills in this thing. It's not really suited for doing much. Um, you could probably, uh, you could probably use it to build up a little bit of cash by ramming other vehicles off the road, but it's not. It's not a vehicle you'd run to very, uh, very quickly in a hurry. Coupled with the fact that it's pretty hard to find, it's quite useless. Yeah, that was pretty successful, I think. I don't see the, uh, I don't see any mackerel rain, but I suppose we can put that down to Tony's, uh, sense of hyperbole. So, let's just make our way over to Salvatore's and finish this episode off. Uh, I'll let it you in there, cause fuck, uh, fuck showing all the driving, cause that would just be dull as shit. Um, <laughs> we're here at Salvatore's. I may have run over a couple of people on the way, but that's alright. Leave us alone for a minute. 
The Colombian cartel is making spank somewhere in Liberty, but we don't know where. And they seem to know everything we're doing before we do. We got us a rat. There's a guy named Curly Bob who works the bar at Luigi's. He's been throwing more money around than he's earning. He ain't pimping or pushing, so he must be talking. He usually gets a taxi home after work, so follow him. And if he's ratting us out, kill him. What did you expect from a guy called Curly Bob? Fucking Salvatore. Alright, let's um... Let's drive over to Luigi. Oh my god, you have got to be shitting me there, bro. Let's go to Luigi's and see what we can do about finding out about Curly Bob's endeavors on the side. So, there are two ways you can complete this mission. The first one is to do it how I'm going to do it. That's the way they want you to. But emergent gameplay dictates that there is a second way you can complete this mission. And that will become apparent when I park out the front. There. There is a taxi waiting for Curly Bob outside of Luigi's. Now, if we were to steal a taxi and to park it right in front of Luigi's there, no need to push the other one out of the way. We can just park right up behind it. There is a space there. Uh, Bob will actually get in our taxi. And then we don't have to really do anything in the mission. We can just drive to where he wants to go without actually uh, having to do any sort of objective. But... Well, that is a secondary way of doing it. Right now, we're going to do it the way they want you to. So the spookometer is up on the screen, and it's increasing, as you can see there. I'm going to pretend that was a tutorial for you all. So we can't get too close to him, or else he will see that we are tailing him. Uh, in hindsight, oh shit, in hindsight... Chasing after him in a Mafia car was probably a dumb idea. Rise FM probably wasn't the uh, best choice for sneaky music. Oh shit. So you've got the idea of this, you just don't want to drive too close. And you want to be very mindful of traffic, because if you get stuck in a position where you can't maneuver out of traffic, you're going to fail because he'll see you. So you want to always make sure there's a long stretch of road between you and him. And also behind you as well, so you can back up if the uh, occasion ever calls for it. But there's no need for that anymore. We are now at the harbour. Here comes our little friend, Mr. Big Mouth himself. Were you followed? You know what goes on here is our little secret, I'm No, no, I, I wasn't followed. You got my stuff? Here's your spank, squealer. Now talk. Okay, so the Leones are fighting wars on two fronts. They're in a turf war with the triads, with no sign of either side giving up. Meanwhile, Joey Leone has stirred up some bad blood with the Ferrellis. Every day they're losing men and influence in the city. Salvatore's becoming dangerous and paranoid. He expects everybody and everything. And with loyalty like yours, what has he possibly got to worry about? Oh, you best not be squealing on my watch, you motherfucker. We're gonna go fucking hit you with a car right now. And I don't care if you got a shotgun. I find it interesting that Salvatore pays out worse than Tony does. But, that's it. We're done. Fuck yeah. whoop de doo So... Uh, we met Catalina again, our uh, girlfriend who left us for dead in the first uh, cutscene. So maybe something's going to happen there, who knows. I'll see you next time for some bonus content. Thanks for watching.